So we're back with uh, Dino here and we're going to look at some uh, Wi-Fi display products. Can you give us a brief introduction of what Wi-Fi display is? Sure, certainly. Uh, Wi-Fi display is really a, a standard-based solution that allows you to take any small screen, whether it's a PC, a tablet, a mobile phone, and be able to wirelessly transmit that to a large screen or a TV. And the reason that's important is because so much of the content is either being created on smaller screens right. or being, uh, or, or being uh, downloaded to these mobile platforms and yet the ability to share that you need a large screen in order to share it with a number of people. So it becomes a very important dynamic in why even 5G Wi-Fi is, is, is being deployed in terms of sharing video content. So what we're showing here is really, um, you know, certainly we talk about 5G Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi being embedded in smart TVs but part of the challenge is an existing baseline of HDTVs in the, in already deployed are not smart. Right, because people aren't going to go and throw away their TV just because they want to connect it to other devices. Right. So one of the benefits that I think we're trying to bring to market is, is uh, the ability to automatically add intelligence to your TV. And uh, I'll show you a little bit of a, a mock-up here, but we have something called uh, Flames, which is basically a small form factor HDMI dongle with built-in decode and Wi-Fi transmit capability, or receive capability. So what you do is you plug this into an HDMI port on the back of your uh, HDTV. Right. You'd use USB cable for power, and automatically now you can either use Wi-Fi connections from your laptop, or a smartphone, or a tablet to uh, seamlessly transmit any video content to the big screen. So does this device have some software on it, or do you run that on your device, or how does that work? So this device has all the software self-contained, so you, you wouldn't need to expect any sort of preconditions on a uh, high-definition TV other than the fact that it had HDMI ports and a USB port for power. Right. So what we're showing right here is one example where we're streaming from a laptop to a large screen TV um, using uh, Wi-Fi display. Here's another from another laptop using a um, another variant of, uh, of of this Wi-Fi display standard, and then moving over here, we have uh, examples of being able to project a screen from a tablet, where we can actually have a tablet screen and we can actually move move the uh, you know as we touch and move the the features around or the pictures around, we can actually view those, and then finally here showing the ability to handle something like low latency video and uh, showing Andrew, Angry Birds, which of course everyone loves. Uh, but the, the ubiquitous demo. Uh, the ubiquitous demo, yeah. It, it's, it's certainly taken a life of its own. Uh, but having this where you can show, and I'm not an expert, so I apologize in advance, but where you can show basically the fact that I, as I play this, maybe I'll step over here, as I play this, over here, you can see that even though there is certainly latency, it's certainly manageable from a standpoint of I was playing it. So I can be playing on the uh, tablet and actually viewing it or sharing the experience with everyone on the, uh, you know, in the living room. That's some pretty cool stuff. So these products are rolling out this year? Absolutely. We expect to see this solution be in production uh, in the, by, b b before the end of the year and shipping in products. All right. That's great. Thank you. Thank you.